Hey, it's Nate from Navigator Bookkeeping, and just a quick video on how to set up some account mapping for um, Gusto, especially when you have a couple different employees or contractors that are working in kind of different areas and you want their pay to go into different um, accounts in, in QuickBooks, right? You don't want everyone just to go into employee wages. You might have contractors, you might have different um, roles happening. So we're just going to talk about how to do that. So the first thing you're going to need to do in Gusto here is you're gonna to go to your team members tab. And when you click on that, you're gonna see your people's uh, names and information. And you'll see here two columns, department and, and job title. And you actually can sort by either of these um, and push over into QuickBooks either by job title or department. So either is fine. Um, I kinda of like department, feel like it's a little more straightforward because you can group a couple different job titles into one department, but doesn't, necessarily matter how you want to do it. One's just a little bit more specific than the other. So we're going to talk about how to do it by department in this video. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to click on somebody's name here. And what we're going to do basically is make sure that they have departments set up. So right now, if you look at uh, these five individuals, they all have a department included in here, right? So we have the owner, we have two therapists, and then somebody who does some marketing and somebody who does intakes. Um, you can create as many or as few departments as you want. Um, but if you're a counseling practice, you're obviously going to want therapists. You're probably going to want your owners pay separate. You will want your owners pay separate. And then uh, any other admin staff who are doing any office work, you'd probably want a department for that. So those would be at least the, the bare minimums. So let's quick dive into these and we'll look at how to um, set the department. All right. So we're in the employee tab and I have a lot of things blurred in here because, you know, don't want to be sharing people's information, obviously. But what you'll notice is that this top box uh, is going to have kind of the uh, basic information we need to change. So it's going to say how the person is paid, who their manager is, and their department. Department is the part we need to change. Now, this is a contractor, but you're going to see a similar screen for an employee, just going to have more tabs up here. But you're still going to want to click on the box that's going to have kind of their basic information. What you're going to do is you're going to click the pencil icon for edit. So once we click edit and we get the pencil icon, all this stuff up here is just the person's individual information, uh, address, name, social security number, all that. So we don't need to do anything with that. We have email address, we have their pay rate. Uh, and then down here, we have department, right? You see that right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click department and that's where we are going to get this updated so that we have a new department for this person. So when we click that, you'll see that we have a couple different departments here. So uh, in this case, we have an intake coordinator one set up ready for this person. But if you wanna create a new department, you can just click create a new department. You can type it in, name it whatever you want, does not matter. Just make sure it makes sense uh, for how you're going to kind of push that over to QuickBooks. Because basically what we're going to do is we're mapping by department, which means that each of these departments is going to have its own line item in QuickBooks. Now you could have different departments push into the same line item in QuickBooks. Like if I wanted both marketing and intake coordinator both to go into contractors, I could do that. Um, but I'm actually going to have each department have its own line item. So think about that when you're creating these. Make sure you're thinking about kind of the end product of uh, where you want um these to push over into QuickBooks. So we're going to get out of this screen and we're going to go over here on the side to app directory next. And then that's where we're going to find our QuickBooks mapping. All right. So we are now here in the app directory and we're going to click on, um, we're going to click on settings. And then, so we went to app directory, QuickBooks, and we're going to settings. You might see the mapping screen, but we're going to go to settings and we're going to click uh, in the journal entry consolidation, we're gonna press edit and we're gonna do it by department and we're gonna press submit. All right, now what that did is that should push over everything so that uh, as people are paid, they're going to get pushed over by department into a certain line item in QuickBooks. Last step is we're going to go to, uh, we're in QuickBooks, so we're in mapping. You have your default mappings, but now we're gonna go down here to mappings by department. And for each of these, you're gonna click the pencil icon and you're actually going to update where these are gonna push over into QuickBooks. So for example, for wages, um, I'm now gonna update these to be the to to uh, show the line item that I want this to go into QuickBooks. So instead of the intake coordinator's pay going into employee wages, it's now gonna go into uh, I have a specific intake coordinator contractors line that this is going to go to. And we're going to do that for all of these. Now, for a contractor, you really would only need to update the contractor pay. For an employee, you're going to have a couple other things to update here. But if you want to, you know, for the contractor, for example, if you want to make all these contractor, uh, that's fine. And you can even select all and then update them in kind of one 
uh, one quick swoop. So yeah, that's how you do this. Um, it will not update. Um, it should not update uh, previously mapped um, transactions. So you you may have to go back and manually update um, how you know any pay that you've done in the past. You want to update, but but any paydays from now on will be updated with the new mapping. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You can leave a comment below this video and we'll see you in the next video.